This is a tutorial for how to use the optical sight for bombing Mark 1 or the OPB-1 bomb sight used in Soviet bombers for level bombing. This is part of the game IL-2 with the HSFX-6 expert mod switched on. We will be flying the IL-4 and loadout will be 3 Fab 250s and 10 Fab 100s. The target for this training exercise are the factories in Kalach near Stalingrad which was occupied by the Wehrmacht in 1942. We have already acquired good recon pictures which are essential for this kind of mission. On approach, line up your bomber the best you can with the distant Kalach. When you have it pointed roughly at the east side of the town, then engage level stabiliser. That's close enough, level stabilizer are engaged. We want to fly as fast as possible but not overstrain the engine, so we'll select 90% throttle, 90% pitch, 60% mixture, and level 2 supercharger. Right, jump into the bomb aimer's position and toggle the gun sight mode, we'll let you see through the bomb sight. Raise the elevation up until we can see Kalach. We can't see the factories yet, but we do know from the recon pictures the grey area over to the right, which is the east, is where the factories will be. And you can start to turn your aircraft now using the rudder trim controls while maintaining level stabiliser for level flight. Ok, it's going to get busy soon, but keep calm and concentrate. Hopefully we aren't getting shot at by some nasties and our escorts are doing the jobs. Turn up your altitude setting to what is shown. I'm going to set it at 4910 uh, because I know the actual altitude is 4908, not what is shown as 4900. I'll tell you how I know that in a second. We next have to dial in the true airspeed. What we have shown here is the indicated airspeed, so we have to do a conversion. To do that, I use a tool called the Bombsight Table Version 2. As for airspeed, we're being told we're flying at 270, but I don't believe that's accurate enough. So jump into the cockpit and zoom in onto your ASI. And you'll see that is actually closer to 278. There's a mod that lets you see your speed bar in much more detail, as you can see now. Okay, dial in our speed and height, and out pops our true airspeed of 370 km per hour. Now dial that into the bomb site and we're almost ready to go. Continue using left and right rudder trim to line up with where the factories should be appearing soon. As you get closer, you may have to decrease the elevation of the site to keep the target in view. As we approach the town, some of the buildings will start to appear in detail. If we read our recon pictures right, we should be right on track. But don't worry, we still have a few seconds to go here if you need to do some fine tuning. And there we can see them now in the bomb site. Do your final adjustments to get lined up with the target as we approach bomb drop. Final check on what we have dialed in to the altitude and the speed, and we're all good to go. We're now close enough to line up the triangle with the U mark in the sight, and when they are both lined up together by adjusting the elevation, then the bombs are computed to drop right on the bubble in the centre of the reticule. I'm going to release all the bombs very close together because I'm confident they'll hit. If you're not too sure, then you can spread out the bomb load but they won't have as much impact. Lower the elevation and you can watch the bombs drop. If you have time to do this, it depends how hostile the environment is. You may be getting attacked by fighters or flak might be too heavy. But if you can watch where they drop and what they hit, it's good information to feed back to HQ or even to the next wing of bombers if there are any behind you. Almost there. 
I've got a five second delay in my bomb fuse, so you should see the explosion just a few seconds after they pass over the target area. Bang on. Okay, let's see that again from ground level. Well, he seems to be happy. Okay, all that's left now is to ride off into the sunset.